Okay, welcome back. Um, gonna go. I literally have not left the spot. <laughs> We're gonna go meet up with Momo again and figure out how to open this gate. We. I feel like we might be near the end of this game, honestly. Um, I'll still probably keep the run time to maybe like 45 minutes to an hour, um, unless like something major happens and I have to just keep going through. But um. It feels like we're near the end because now we're figuring out that B12's purpose is to open the doors to get to the outside. So we'll just see what happens. So, oh, I I'm directly back at Momo's place. Okay, that's cool. So, hopefully Momo's still around and hopefully nothing has happened. So, the slums part two. Okay, cool. Momo, where is he? Oh, look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I locked the window, but the code to open is quite simple. It is. Be careful. It is case sensitive. See you at the bar, mama. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. I better not have to actually type all that in. I really hope B12 just does his thing and it just opens by itself because that is way too much. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun, I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? I probably should have been spending time, like, actually doing the side objective, which is getting all these memories, but, uh... You can go look up a walkthrough that has it all, because I'm just kinda here for the story. Which I'm pretty sure doing that is part of the story as well, so we'll see. I, I like Momo's place, it's nice. Like, it's just small, cozy, and just. it's perfect. Let me just read this again, just in case. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have to type all that in. That <laughs> kind of scared me. I thought, no, Momo. I mean, no, no, Momo. No, B12. I'm not going to sit here and type all that. Okay. Mama was at the bar waiting for us. Okay. Kinda worried. I don't see anybody. This one. Oh, oh, it's Momo. Hey, hey, buddy. Try to get down with it. Okay. Here we are. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm kind of suspicious of you, man. Oh, 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 oh that, that's cute. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Oh, 
boy. <laughs> I've almost got it. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out in. Wait, is that you? Is Balls? Is Balls? Is our, I, I wish you were someone else that I could name. That I could say. Bobo. I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice. I'm gonna just say Z, because I'm not gonna keep trying to say this name. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Z is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Z made it, there must be a way. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. I, I gave him this accent because it just kind of fits the scenario. Hmm. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned the secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come follow. Come on, follow me. Can these robots get drunk? Jacob, employee of the month, September 27th. Okay, well, it's almost September, so... Hold on. Hold on, uh, Momo. You want something? No. You're new around here. What can I do for you? A music sheet. I don't play an instrument. Sorry. Do I have time to do the other stuff now? Alright. Um, Momo, hold on. I kind of want to see what happens if I do something else. Hello. Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the barterman. There's something for everyone over there. Yeah, I think I have some of the stuff that he needs. Hey, Barterman. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. Oh, I... I um, don't I have three? A memory. This is an early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They would just glorify autom eh. autonomous cleaners. I'm sorry. I think it's nice that they eventually mimic humans. It's like they missed them. In a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. I do have that. Okay, and then... Yeah, the, okay, this is gonna be easy, dude. The marketplace, okay. Alright, so, right quick, I guess... I guess I'm doing the side of this first before I do anything with, uh, Momo. Um... A lady... Or, I'm not gonna say lady. You did this. It was you! 
right? No. Someone needed this. It was was it a granny? I'm pretty sure that it was like a older looking hold on my mom. It wasn't you, was it? No. Alright, this is the bar. Was it you? I think it was you. Yeah. I sure do. I sure do. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. So, do I get to equip it? Well, okay, well, th thank you. Can I equip it? It looks really warm, perfect for a cold robot. Oh, okay, so maybe I'm gonna give it to somebody at some point. Okay. Cool! Um... Sheet music. Right, I... Mm hmm... You're okay, buddy, because you, you keep scaring the crap out of me. There's really nothing else in here. I could get up there, but it's not giving me the option, so I guess not. Oh well. Um. Hello. That guy is cleaning the paint again. Sure is making use of all that detergent. All right, Momo, where are you? Momo, where'd they go? There you are. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Let's go.
Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you, I think I have an idea. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electric shock. Electro shock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'll go back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Okay. Seamus? Nice place you got here, friend. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you what are you doing here? I told you, getting the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. But we got something to show you, buddy. Okay. What's this? Wait. Is this my, my papa's paws? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Do I have to find it for you? I hope not. Like this is this is your your flat. A secret lab right under my nose. Maybe there are clues hidden somewhere around here. <sighs> okay, I, I okay. If there's a need of weapon capable of dealing with the Zergs, there must be some sign of it around here. Let's search the whole flat. Okay, well. Here are some equations and some clocks. Um. Okay, you're just not going to react to that. Oh! Found something. I've never noticed a digital before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Time will tell. The clocks! Two, five, one, two. Now let, let, let's hope this is in order. Two, five, one, one. I, I said two, and it's one, so. Okay. Two, five, one, one. I've never seen this room. I can't believe you managed to hide it from me all the time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. 
He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the stubs and he never came back. That flukes from the concept light based hand Concept light based handgun low priority visual appearance size decibel admitted high priority test in his real condition objective 20 Zerg destroy per second. Okay. That's not bad per second. Robots new headlines. Zerk are fish no longer under control. They now eat metal. Wow. Wait, no longer under control, they now eat metal, so... Did the robots kill the humans with the zer- I don't- I don't know. I could be wrong. Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. Find anything interesting in here? Um, besides this dead Zerg? There's a box. Seamus. Hey. Wait. I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we could reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Yeah, that that's Momo, I think. You gotta fix that tracker. You're resourceful. Maybe we can find some of the slums to help. Um, I'm gonna assume that's Momo. Hey, Momo. I'm really trying to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting, Cosimus? Um, first off, I want to sit on the stool and talk to him. Interesting device, but it looks broken. Maybe someone in the village can help you repair it? Did you ask at the bar? Okay, Momo, I kind of thought it was going to be you, but alright. Okay, well, that's useful for something. One, two, eight, three. What a beautiful object, and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented, just a little, well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Okay. I know where Elliot is. Um, oh, alright, there it is. I'm sorry, 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 stop. Left. Okay. 
I think this bucket is stuck. Okay, that's just the sound of speak. You keep scaring the crap out of me, man. Um, I forgot where Elliot's place is now. Okay, Seamus.
<sighs> Let's go. Yep, I figured. I figured. I figured. I'm like, yep. Oh my god! Come oh man. Come on. Oh. Oh no. I don't like fog. Oh, it's, it's, it's not fog. It's, it's just water. But it's probably toxic. Because it's green. Another one of these. Let's let's hope we don't die. I kind of want to just you know, whatever. And let's go. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <gasps> no. 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 Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Oh no, not- oh no, not Apollo Lippin, no, no, oh no. Oh man. You okay? Okay. Like, I don't even want you jumping around like this, because you just- okay. Double checking right quick, making sure I don't miss anything. Ah. Yep. The scientists I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little college. Cottage. Fishing all day long. Of course that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves at the college cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the science school would have wanted. But first we should go find Doc. I am not going to 100% these memories, and that's fine. A lot of Zerk eggs. Up there? 
Is that where we're going? Okay. Hmm, it's an electric generator, but it seems to require some other parts to function. Okay, well then, let's find the other part. I don't need to make that jump. Okay, there's like two different ways. I'll try the left path first. Oh god. So gross. There's a Zerg in there. Doc? Is that them? That has to be. Uh, okay, yeah, he has that Doc Brown look from Back to the Future. Oh, uh, what does he say? Gigawatch or something like that? Okay. Whoa. Wait. There's a sick. What are you? Well, I'm not gonna try to give him a Russian accent. That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I can't get to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The trees felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Yeah? Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, it can explode zergs like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatt gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and all and with all the zergs around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer to recharge. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. This is, this is, okay, this is Doc Brown from Back to the Future, in robot form. This is who this is. Here, take this fuse, it's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck!
Um, quick reminder, I am a cat, and there's a lot of responsibility they're putting on this poor cat. Which, you know. Alright. Come on, Zergs, I know you guys are somewhere hiding, and... Well, you're probably gonna pop out these little eggshells and do whatever. Hold on. Um, perp. Okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. I'm sorry. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Come on, doc, 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 doc. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. It, it works. He can do the thing now. Yay. Doc, come on. Yeah. And I get back to you up here, right? Here I come, Doc. Yay, it works! I I'm so happy for you, man. Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Yes, please, thank you. It worked. The deflector is now installed on your fancy drone here. Is that meant to run off such a small power source? If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Great. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home soon, son. Oh. Okay. I I hope you you well no you gave me the only one you have so. All right. You, you never told me how to use it. Take it all those zerks so we can get through. Okay. Oh, nice. Wow, it's working great, but as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. the door. Right, I, I will fail a lot, probably. The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. This isn't one of those things where you're going to fix it and I have to hold off the Zergs that are going to come our way because I hate things like this, but if that's the case, oh well. Must be a way to open the door. Okay, so um, it's just me. Um,
Okay, th there's a window, but the barrel's not. Okay. Doc. Okay, right, well, there's a window. Is it just me? Well, what am I not saying? It's this barrel. Oh, oh, okay, cool. It... Okay, you know what? B12, why didn't you just, like, leave the doctor here and have them pick me up and put me through the window? Like, I'm pretty sure you can talk to them, right? Uh, not gonna question. I'm, I'm just gonna keep playing, okay? It's a vent, and I don't trust this already, but... Alrighty, then. Yep. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Um 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 why didn't you go through? Why didn't you go through? Why? God. God. Ah! I was thinking, Zergs are going to come out of nowhere, but where? I didn't think as soon as I opened the door, they were going to come out. Jeez. <sighs> Open the door, go straight through, don't question it. I'm pretty sure I'm running or whatever. We'll just see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where you guys at? Where you guys at? Where y'all at? I... Hey, guess we just forgot that they have a gun that can kill the Zerks. I did. I sure did. I sure did. I sure did. We did. I should just die. You know, start this whole thing over. Fresh. But I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll just, you know, make this... Put this seat as I can. Are you? Oh, oh! It malfunctioned. I'm so sorry, B12. Okay. No, 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 no. Dang it, I keep overheating it. I'm so sorry, Doc. Doc, I'm sorry. Doc, I'm sorry. Doc, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on, Doc. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, dang it. Okay, B B12 overheated. Oh. Excuse you. That was close. There's still one left. Hold on. Okay, this one won't die.
this one won't die. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Where'd that go? There you are. Okay, I have a gun. I have a gun. I have to keep telling myself I can shoot these things now. Alright, stand back down. <sighs> Come on, Zerks. Never mind, there's a cutscene. Okay, cool, okay, we're here. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy for you, Doc! And Seamus, I'm so happy! Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. So, let's see. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Man, okay. Um, one moment. You know what, with the way I think things are kind of progressing, um, I might end the video here, maybe I'll give it like another, um, maybe like 15 minutes, you know, I, I kind of want to see what, what happens a bit, and then maybe part 5 will be the conclusion of this entire game, I don't know. It does feel like we're kind of like nearing the end since we have all this like stuff happening, but um, yeah. So you survived the Zerg after all. Do you have the ten cans you owe me? Really? Oh, and did you meet that weird orange creature walking around? You must see him walking around. I I'm right here, man. You 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 can just okay. This is really impressive, Doc. Nobody has survived that long in the dead city. Hi, Teddy. What's up, Rosie? Oh, Billy. Do you know my son, Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back from that damn place. I'm happy for you, Seamus. Yeah, sure. I'm so happy he's back. So, I'm guessing we're gonna go find Doc. Look at all the great... Okay, I already read this. Hey Doc, I think I think it's time to go. Did... Where's Doc? I'm sorry. Where's Momo? You're new around here, but uh, where's Momo? Did they go back to their place. do this. Hold on. Go back on the pool table. Go back on the pool table. You can't separate the ball. Oh. oh, okay. Did they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans? 
you think I should trash them a bit? I don't want to be disrespectful of their ways. <gasps> That's the gap. Oh, so maybe I can't complete the memories. Okay. Did Momo go back to their place? Might have. Let, let, let me go, I guess, check. <gasps> Momo, you better be at your place. Momo, this is not the time to just, like, not be somewhere. Because you never told us where else we're going to be at, so... Nope, okay. M Momo, this is... Okay. Momo, why didn't you just stay at the bar? Cause I'm looking for you for no reason. When you should just, just yeah, blah, 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 I can't even speak. This is new. Momo, glad I could find you. Jump on the boat when you're ready. Let's get out of here. Okay, so with that being said, um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna end this right here. Uh, part five. We're gonna see where this boat takes us, but um. I feel like we're, we're right near the end of this, because now we're all just, like, I guess giving them hope. But then, like, I'm like, I don't have enough memories for it to feel like we're near the end. So maybe there's still a bit more, but, um, yeah, this is the end of part four, I believe, of this playthrough. I don't know. I have, like, a lot of editing to do with, with most of the footage I recorded, but, um, this is great. Um, hopefully, once again, that you guys are enjoying this. If not, I understand. You know, you can always... Watch someone else play it or play it yourself. But, um, yeah, until next time. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.